So this is the first time I've ever made a second update video on a raid in the history of the channel. Usually it's always the one update video about a raid and if anything there will be something gameplay related or me talking about the raid like the Cell Max one that I did and made a video talking about how great that raid was. But this time around on this raid right here there's actually something that I missed and it's only the second time that this has ever happened in Xenoverse 2 history when it comes to the raids. And what I'm talking about guys is a reward that you get at 15,000 damage. Because as you see at 15,000 damage it says title, not nickname. Nicknames are what we usually get in the raids and that's what I thought this was initially when I was looking at it and making the video on it. That's why I just completely ignored it because usually when something has quotations around it, as you guys can see with the nickname more, there are usually always nicknames or street names as you guys see right here never really do we have titles appear in raids this is literally again the second time in xenoverse 2 history that this title has been in the raid and it is the time patroller title and for those who are wondering what titles are if you ever see a symbol or a logo over a cac's head in the multiplayer uh, lobby those are what titles are the dragon ball super titles that you see above people's head the gt symbols that you see above people's head there's other ones as well there's a modern symbol i believe there's a genu symbol like there's different titles in the game that you will see above people's heads and their cac's heads in the multiplayer lobby of dragon ball xenoverse 2 and that's what you get at 15k damage on this raid right here you get the time patroller title which as you guys can see with this screenshot this is what it will look like above your cac now huge shout out to homie rdf for two things one sharing the screenshot with me so you guys can see what it'll actually look like on your cac and two letting me know about this in general because again i completely missed this in the video and the homie rdf hit me up about this on twitter so again huge shout out to him for letting me know about this because without him i wouldn't have known about it and then well a lot of you guys probably wouldn't have known about it at the same time because again in yesterday's video i did not mention this at all in any way shape or form because i just did not know that this was actually part of the raid so this honestly is an absolute must do raid without a doubt if you do not have this time patroller title for your CAC because it's definitely something cool to apply your, to your CAC and I do see a lot of people always asking how do you get these well this is how you can get the time patroller one at the very least so you can have one if you don't have any others unlocked at this moment in time so again man make sure you guys participate in this raid if you do not have this title and make sure you get up to 15k damage so you can get that for your CACs and honestly I want to see everybody in the multiplayer lobby having these when this raid is all said and done because again this is definitely something you should take advantage of and definitely unlock without a doubt. But let me know what you guys think about this and if you'll be doing it for that Time Patroller title as well down below in the comments. But till next time, man, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and as always, hope you have a good one. Peace, y'all.